This tutorial will give an overview of the policy settings available when creating a question bank assignment. The first step is to set a start date and a due date. For the start date, you may make it available as soon as it's assigned, or select a specific date from the calendar. For the due date, you may also set the date from the calendar. We suggest setting start and end dates that space out assignments throughout the term. This will prevent cramming, deter procrastination, and maximize student engagement over time. When setting the time, you can either use the drop-down menu or manually enter the time, using A for AM and P for PM. There are different options for accepting late assignment submissions. You can accept late assignments with no penalty, accept with a penalty, or set to automatically submit all assignments on the due date. AutoSubmit will collect any in-progress assignments on behalf of the student on the due date, which prevents students from forgetting to submit an assignment that might have been saved prior to the due date. Next, you can enable proctoring options. When you enable proctoring, you will see a pop-up where you can decide your settings, including whether to record the student through video, audio, or their screen. There are four assignment categories to choose from. Homework, Practice, Quiz, and Exam. You can set different policy settings for each category. To edit policy settings for your assignment, select the appropriate category icon and then Expand Advanced Settings. You'll see four types of policy settings, Basic, Attempts, Resources, and Feedback, each set to default settings. You can select Edit or Edit All Settings to adjust each policy for that assignment category. Under Basic Policies, you can add a time limit, allow printing, scramble the questions, add a password, or make it a completion-based assignment. Under Attempts, you can decide how many graded attempts students will have for the assignment, whether they will start the assignment over on each attempt or only revise questions they got wrong on the previous attempt, add a penalty for multiple attempts, or allow study attempts, where students can recomplete the assignment after the due date for additional practice without affecting the original score. Under Resources, reference types can show students general information about each question, including question title, point value, and references to corresponding pages of the textbook for that topic. Assistant types include access to the ebook, hints available for a question, and check my work which tells students whether their answer is correct. We suggest limiting uses of this on multiple choice questions. Finally, Ask the Instructor allows students to message you directly through the Connect messaging system. Under Feedback, you can choose when and how much feedback to give students. If you've given students multiple attempts, you can show feedback after submitting each attempt, which can provide different levels of feedback after each attempt, including no feedback, total scores only, or total scores before the due date, with all detailed feedback after the due date. Note that detailed feedback will always include the correct answers, but question scores correct or incorrect indicators and total scores does not include the correct answers. Detailed feedback with solutions applies to certain disciplines, such as chemistry and accounting, which involve specific processes around finding the correct answers. When showing detailed feedback after each attempt, you also have the option to hold feedback. You can hold feedback for a set number of hours after the due date or until a specific date and time. When holding feedback, it will hold all feedback and connect until the feedback hold expires. If you're pairing with a learning management system, the total score will still automatically transfer to the learning management system, even if the score is not visible in connect. Or you can show feedback after submitting each question, which provides students with immediate feedback, but they must answer every question in the order that they're presented and lock in their answer before moving to the next question. This means students cannot skip a question and come back to it later or work ahead. Additionally, depending on the types of questions you've selected, there may be another section down at the bottom that has specific policies for that question type. Once you've adjusted the settings to your preferences, you can apply them only to this assignment or as the default settings for all other assignments of this category. When you save as default settings, you can also apply the policies to any existing assignments in that category if students have not started them yet. Next, click on Review and Assign located at the right-hand corner of the page. 
You may review your policies and questions before completing the assignment process and see a list of the questions assigned and their point values. When finished, click Assign. You will then be returned to the Section Dashboard. If you need to edit policies for an existing assignment, click on the assignment from the Assignments page. From the Assignment Options menu, select Edit Assignment and then Continue. After you make changes, click Continue to complete the assignment creation process. Remember, certain changes to assignments cannot be made once students have started working on the assignment.